Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and here we are. It is Saturday Happenings for Saturday, September 16th. So cool because we're going on our cruise and I can't wait to do that. But you know on Saturdays I like to review the videos that I did last week and then the ones that are coming up. So I'm pretty excited about the ones that are coming up. Of course I'm excited about making videos anyway. But I'm going to review them and then I'm going to tell you what's happening next. So first of all, on Sunday, I did my freezer pull and I'm not going to do one this week because I won't be here. I'm going to be off the coast of Alaska. Next Sunday, I will actually be flying. No, next Sunday, I can't remember where we're going to be, but we'll be in Alaska. So that's fun. But I've got the house all ready and stuff for the gal that's coming over here to stay here. It's going to be perfect. I'm just so excited. But anyway, um, I did a freezer pull and I... Uh, made a couple of things and basically I did a pizza we had that just you know I made the pizza and then the sausage what I did with that is I took it I sliced it I put it in the air fryer I let it get brown and I have this really good corn that's kind of like got all this uh, spicy and it's got a sauce it's really good and I just put that with the corn I made like bowls I did uh, brown rice and then I put the corn and then I put the pieces of sausage on it and Brian really liked it and it was super good so it's just kind of a thing that came out of my head so I did that. That was good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hit my microphone. And then I did pantry cooking for two Tuesday. The stuffed acorn squash. We love acorn squash. We love all kinds of squash. Um, and I'm excited because I got like four spaghetti squash this year off my plant. Just four. Uh, but anyway, so the stuffed acorn squash is really good. A lot of people commented that they would do it with maybe some of their ugly chicken out of their pantry. That would be fabulous. Um, I did it with pork that Brian canned. Um, it's just a cool thing. Like, think about the things that you can stuff your pos your acorn squash with. I've seen it where people have done like a, like a, a Italian like noodle or just all kinds of stuff can go in an acorn squash. It's just the best. So that was cool. So I did that, and then the the sneak peek of the dough on utensil holder. That was cool. I love that they sent me this so that I could give you guys a little sneak peek. And somebody said that the link didn't work, but I went back and checked. And it does. It goes to their site. That utensil holder is supposed to be released like in the next um, couple, three weeks, I guess. She said, well, more than that. Yeah. She said at the end, end of September, beginning of October, if I see it released, I'll come on and let you guys know. But either wise, just go check out the dough on stuff. It's, it's good. I love it. And I'm so glad they connected with me. And honestly, I'll tell you what, I just do it because they send me the product and ask me to show it, and I feel like the product is is cool, so I do it. Um, they don't sponsor, I don't do any of that stuff, but it's just a cool thing, so I like to do that. Um, got my little book. Oh, the Carnival Pepper Candy that Lisa and I did is so good. I actually opened a jar already, and Brian and I had, what did I put it on? We had just, oh, BLT sandwiches, but I don't have tomato. But um, we put that on there. It was really good and it's phenomenal. Lisa was saying that she used the brine and did a pork chop in the brine in the slow cooker and then browned it. Um, and then meanwhile, put the rice in the brine and she said it was phenomenal. So that's next on my list. I'm gonna open that, but I did use the brine in a jar and I boiled eggs and I'm making pickled eggs with it. That's super good. Now the other thing was the, the last one I did yesterday was the steam canner processing time. Um, that's important and a couple people asked, uh, well one person particularly said she's new to canning and so I love it when you ask me the questions when you're new to canning because it gets you off on the right foot um, and that she wondered how come you couldn't use like a pressure canner because it's got the little vent um, but they have not tested the steam release I guess you'd say um, using a pressure canner so the the uh, steam canners mind the one i have's got a metal top the newer model i think has a glass top and it's got a hole and uh it's there's a hole in it where the steam comes out but mine actually there's no hole on the top but around the edge where it sits down there's little tiny holes around the edge of that those are put on there because they're calculated for the steam release volume and to do it out of the the vent on a pressure canner they're I, they've not tested it with the volume that, of steam that's released and so how, you know, how it would work. So really, it's just not tested. So if you're going to do steam canning, you will want to get a dedicated steam canner, okay? So, 
Oh my gosh, so we're ready to go. I gotta head up to Vise. Actually, as soon as I get this done and posted, I'm gonna go up there and I've gotta get her medications organized for while I'm gone, because I take care of putting them in the little Monday, Tuesday, Monday through Friday, or Monday through Sunday, you know, the little pill thing. I've got one for her that's a whole month, but what I need to do is go back, because she worries if I'm gone that she won't have her pills. So I'm gonna go organize her pills. We went earlier this week and did a bunch of grocery shopping, so her freezer is packed with good things that she can just easily make. So I'm heading up to Vise in a minute, and then we're just going to hang out. And my friend who's staying at the house, she's coming over with her kids. We're going to have pizza and hang out, and then we're going to drive over to Eugene to the airport. I'm so excited. But coming up, uh, tomorrow I won't have a freezer pull, like I said, because I won't be here. But uh, there is the uh, soup timber. Soup timbers. I love soup timber because it kind of gets you into fall and the whole soup mindset comfort food kind of stuff so my soup timber will be tomorrow and in the in the description box is a link to all the other soup timber channels and i want to say thank you leanne for inviting me to do soup timber again this year it is so good i love that and then my second spam timber contribution is on the 20th so i've got those two videos coming out while i'm gone um, but spam timber, I'm gonna. I did something with spam timber that's really yummy, so that's cool. So those two videos are coming out tomorrow, and then on the 20th. Meanwhile, I am going to do a bunch of videos of our cruise, just because I think it's fun. And also, I finally got my GoPro out, and I decided I watched tons of videos on how to use it to make really clever like things. So I'm gonna try that. Um, so I'm just going to kind of play with cameras and do some videoing and I'm going to show you guys I don't think I've ever done a video of our room those are I we get the one with the balcony so that you can see the glaciers when they when they go in there and they it's cool because they bring the ship up to the, up the fjord and the glaciers like right there and then they just sit there for like three hours and just slowly do a 360 so you can sit on your balcony or you can sit on the decks and you can just watch the glaciers go by while you have some coffee or something so I'm excited about that um, but I'm going to show you guys our trip. And other than that, that's it. When we get home, I am going to start working on our greenhouse to chicken coop slash run conversion. So I've got tons of ideas about that. And I think that's it. That's it for me. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful next couple of weeks. And I will check in because we got that Wi-Fi package on the ship. So I'll be able to check in and, and uh, answer comments and things like that to the best of my ability. As, if, as long as the Wi-Fi is good. Sometimes it's a little bit weak. But that's that. So that's it for me for Saturday the 16th of September. And I'm heading out on a cruise. So I will see you guys soon. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.